Okay, welcome back to part two. Let's go ahead and add the stem to the jack-o'-lantern. And to do that, we're gonna need a flat plane. And unfortunately, the top of the pumpkin is round. And if I wanna draw in that circular stem, I need something flat. And since nothing exists on the top, we're gonna work with the bottom. There's a flat surface right there. So I'm gonna click on Start 2D Sketch, and then I'm gonna click and hold the bottom. So click and hold, and drag the plane that it's going to create up to the top of the jack-o'-lantern. Now, the stem can't be outside of the jack-o'-lantern, so I'm going to adjust my view. And I'm going to drag this plane into the jack-o'-lantern. So right about there is fine, and yours can be something like that, and I'm going to hit OK, or the green check mark. Once it takes you to this mode, press F7 on the keyboard, and then you're going to draw in a circle. And what we're gonna do is use a tool called the Loft Tool. And it's really cool how it works, but click on the circle and click in the center of the pumpkin, something like that, and click Finish Sketch. So that's our first layer. Let's add in our second layer, and we do it just the same way, Start 2D Sketch. But now that we have a flat surface up here, I'm gonna click and hold, and drag up another sketch plane so that it's slightly above the first one. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to click on the circle tool and draw this one to the left or to the right or somewhere relative to the first one. But don't draw it in the same spot. So I'm going to draw mine over there. I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. And now I'm going to draw in one more plane but I'm going to draw it at a different angle. So to do that, I need a different plane surface, and I'm going to go to my origin folder for that. I'm going to click on that arrow, and we turned on the YZ before. This time I'm going to turn on my XY. So that one, I'm going to right click, turn on the visibility, and I'm going to select the Start 2D Sketch option, I'm going to click and hold on this plane, and I'm going to drag it to the side over here. So it looks something like that. I'm going to finish that. And in sketch mode, I'm going to draw a circle somewhere over here. So it looks like that, and I'm going to click Finish Sketch. Okay, so what we did was we created three circles on three separate planes. Sketch 3, Sketch 4, and Sketch 5 for me. You can see them light up when I hover over them. Now, we're going to use this tool here called Loft. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to click on Sketch 3, then Sketch 4, and you're, you can see what's happening on the screen, and finally Sketch 5. And mine looks something like that, and I'm going to hit OK, and that is the stem to my pumpkin. Now, if I don't like the way it looks, I can always edit it by doing one of two things. One, I can click on any of the planes that I created and double click on them. And when you do that, these arrows are going to show up. Um, let me, oh, I can't do it on this one because that's an origin plane. Sorry. I can do it on one of these. I can double click on this plane. Usually. <laughs> it's not working for me. I'm going to double click on it from here. There we go. So I could double click on it from here. And I can manipulate the arrow, like drag it up more, and hit OK, and I'll update it. Um, I'll double click on this one from here as well. And I can push this one in if I wanted to, hit OK, and I'll update it. Or I could go into the last thing I did, which was the loft, and I can go to one of these sketches. So let's say I go to this sketch, double click on it, and I can select it and use the move tool over here and do base point and I can move it somewhere else. Hit done. When you click finish sketch, it will update it so you could get a cooler look. Okay, so that's the stem. Now let's go ahead and add a image to the front of the pumpkin. What I'd like you to do is click start 2D sketch and click and hold on a plane and drag it to the very front of the jack-o'-lantern. Click OK. And now in sketch mode, we need to apply a picture over here. So what I'd like you to do is go over to Google Chrome, look for a picture, 
find it and save it to the desktop. In my situation, I found this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and add it by clicking on this button up here called image and dragging over to the file called Halloween because that's what I saved it as. Click open and I'm going to drop it in place. Now, obviously it's not a perfect fit right away, but you can grab any corner of that image and adjust it and then use those edges to help you like align it better, move it into place and get it so that it matches up with your design. So something like that. Once I do that, I usually finish the sketch, start 2D sketch, and I click on the surface again, that, that plane where the picture's on, so that I don't accidentally move the image. And now go ahead and trace out your design using the arc and the line tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace mine out now. Okay, so once you've drawn out your sketch, go ahead, click Finish Sketch, and we're gonna extrude this out, so go Extrude. Hopefully, they're all closed off shapes. If they're not, you're going to have to inspect your sketch and try to find out where that error is. And I'm going to, instead of extruding them out, I'm gonna click on Cut. That's the second option over here. It's gonna reverse it into your pumpkin. And if it's not going in all the way, just add a little bit more distance to it by adjusting that measurement. So mine looks something like that. And then hit OK. And if you did it correctly, you should see whatever design cut out into your pumpkin. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now's a good time to hide all the planes. So just right click on them and turn off their visibility. I'm just going to go through right clicking and turning them off. And we can hide the image by turning off the sketch where it's located. So I believe that's sketch six. So I'm gonna right click and turn that off. And now we're left with our jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so to color it, go over to tools, adjust, and you could color it however you like. So I'm just gonna select the whole thing, color it orange. And then on the inside, I'm gonna make it black so that it gets that nice jack-o'-lantern effect. I'm going to adjust the, the stem to like a more brownish color, or maybe more greenish. Greenish is more jack-o'-lantern style. And then uh, there you go, one jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. And there we are. And we're gonna eventually 3D print these files, so let's go ahead and get that set up. Go to File, Export, CAD Format, and then make sure that you are saving it as an STL file. So that's third from the bottom. Put your name on it. And then go ahead and click Save. And when Mr. Z comes around with the flash drive, you will be able to add your project with it. And we'll get those printed. Okay, so that's going to conclude part two. I will see you guys later. Peace.